Hello guys, welcome back to another video tutorial. This is Paxi and thank you for tuning into Tech Cruise. I am so sorry that I haven't uploaded in two weeks and because, uh, okay, this is actually a legit reason because I have been working on my startup and once it is up and running, you guys will actually benefit from it a lot. So keep an eye out for that. It would be done in an, about in a month and we should get our funding by then. So to help with that and let's get on with it. So we were discussing password cracking. So. Uh, this video is actually gonna address some other ways of password cracking actually not some other ways some other fields that needs that requires you know password cracking skills so one of my favorite things uh, this is to infiltrate into a network is Wi-Fi hacking so this is what it's gonna be I am going to show you how to hack Wi-Fi or wireless networks so this is gonna be actually fun and this is actually what you know got me really excited in <laughs> in the field of hacking because uh, my first stupidest uh, I mean hack you know you can call it a hack was cracking my friend's Wi-Fi password which was very funny to be honest and I was so excited that wow I just did that and back uh, in the days it was actually a big deal to have a Wi-Fi in your home and I didn't have that my friend did so you know the idea that uh, I can get the Wi-Fi signal on my uh, laptop but uh, cannot use it was you know too frustrating so that's what got me into this so I hope you guys would like this and let's get on with it by the way how do you like my new wallpaper see startup Steve Jobs kind of makes sense right so let me just adjust in my chair and get on with it so all right <laughs> uh, what the hell all right so uh, there are three main standards actually four main standards no three main standards <laughs> of uh, wireless security all right so for basic home users, we've got WPS, WEP, and WPA. So these are all the standard ones that everybody uses. But uh, then we've got uh, WPA2 Enterprise, and uh, I'm gonna explain to you all of them. And this video is, isn't gonna actually contain all of the hacking, but uh, merely the, uh, you know, what do you say? explanation part so let's get on with WPS so WPS stands for Wi-Fi protected setup and it was designed to make the setting uh, to make setting up an access point or a Wi-Fi router simpler for an average home user it was introduced in 2006 and by 2011 it was obsolete because it was fairly easy to crack uh, with only seven digits pin uh, okay so WPS it actually is only one shot of a million uh, I suppose okay okay yeah I am pretty sure it is short of 10 million yeah it is only one uh, combination short of uh, 10 million I suppose if I remember correctly and uh, most system attempts most systems can attempt that number of combinations you know to crack that eight digit pin uh, fairly easy even uh, back in the days even the in the days of 2008 I suppose I had actually a pretty decent computer in 2008 I I could crack that, but I wasn't into hacking at all back then. I, <laughs> it was just GTA Vice City. So uh, there's that. So we've got WPS, and I might show you my router settings. So I'm just gonna open this, drag this baby over here, and hide some of my, you know, confidential stuff. I don't want you guys to see my subnet mask. So I'm just gonna log into my router and uh, hit enter. So, uh, by the time I, okay, I am here, so WBS, come on baby, and there you go. So I have a TP-Link router, and <laughs> this is my SSID, hello world, and know the password in the hello world. So, I have already disabled uh, WBS because I don't want it, I don't want people cracking my Wi-Fi password because I already have very little bandwidth, and I don't want to compromise it to anybody. So, you guys can get about almost 10 million of these combinations you guys can generate a new pen over and over and over again but it will always be crackable and this isn't very a uh, good strategy for securing your Wi-Fi network and trust me uh, usually uh, if you're trying to hack a network or trying to get into a network uh, usually uh, j let's just take an example of a school it won't have WPS enabled but uh, most of the you know the residential areas would have it so if you are uh, suppose out in the neighborhood and you want to get access or you want to you know monitor your botnet uh, so this is actually a fairly easy and fairly nice way of doing this because 
uh, you guys can just uh, crack a WPS password like that. Actually, not like that. It might take some time, but uh, you know, you you can always come back to that uh, particular house wh whose uh, WPS password you have already cracked. So when you crack the WPS password, you uh, even if the person has uh, WPA security and WPS enabled, you will get the WPS uh, WPA. What do you say? Um, uh, WPA key or W yeah WPA two key. Actually, WPA is obs also obsolete because it was fairly easy to crack. So let's minimize this and talk about WPA or actually let's talk about WEP which actually all started. So uh, back in the day when Wi-Fi actually got popular. So one of the things to, you know, secure it and that's in sarcastic quotes was to attempt was to make a protocol. It was called WEP. So this was the first attempt at securing these action point and uh, was termed Wi uh, wired equivalent privacy or simply WEP. This, encry this encryption method has been found for quite a while and a number of weaknesses has been discovered. It has been largely replaced by WPA and WPA2. WPA also became obsolete and because it was fairly easy to crack. So we've got WPA2 which is WPA version 2. So let's talk about WPA2 and as a replacement. Uh, most wireless access point now use Wi-Fi uh, protected access to which is WPA2 with a pre-shared key. So this is the key that uh, you, you know, type in and let's see if I have minimized this or what. Okay, let me show you my freaking privacy key and wireless security. Come on. All right, so you guys get to see my <coughs> wireless key. So my wireless password is FileSheep. If you guys don't know, Fireship is actually a tool for sniffing packets, which we would be doing in this course. So we're going to be uh, dealing around with Wireshark and stuff. This is going to be a good series, all right? And then we have WPA2 Enterprise. So this is the pre-shared key. You set a password for your wireless access point and, you, and then you tell your mom the password and uh, you change it when you have to download Torrent. So uh, disable security is uh, open network. Anybody could connect to it. And this is actually could be very beneficial for a hacker because if you just set an open network, which actually a decent connection, people would connect to it and people would tell their friends to connect to it because it has, you know, a pretty fast connection. And you know, the first thing they're going to do, they're going to use Facebook's. So here's the fun part. You can actually sniff the packets if you're on that ne network. Obviously you have set that network up. So you, there is no encryption, right? So you can already uh, sniff uh, cookies for Facebook and you guys can actually get the access to their Facebook account. This is rather complex, not as easy as I'm saying, but this is going to be fun. Uh, and uh, just a side note, by the way, WEP is barely enabled in any router. I haven't encountered in my lifetime that I have come across a router that has WEP enabled and somebody is texting me. Please excuse it. Uh, okay, come on, come on, come on. What do you want? And yeah, so uh, WPE, you guys won't see that a lot. So and WPA, WPA2 Enterprise. This is a bitch. This is a pain in the ass and I'm going to tell you how to crack it because trust me, it really frustrates me and it's actually quite a kind of fun when you're actually, you know, uh, targeting a an organization. <laughs> so this is a Mr. Robot shit right there. So let's just, uh, you know, let it be and go to IF config. Oh my God. Let me get root privileges and type in IF config. And you guys would see my network mask, don't you? Yeah, there it is. Anyways. <laughs> okay. So these are all the interfaces that we have got over here. We've got ethernet and we've got LAN zero or wireless uh, area network. So let's just clear this out. Now, uh, I hope you guys know how your wireless card works, right? It's in your laptop, right? So how it works is that it will always be in a network managed way. So there is a service running on Linux is called network manager. So if I type in service network manager status, and this is running and active. So let me press Q quit it over here. And what it does is that it manages uh, what you are actually doing with your, uh, you know, uh, what do you say? So if you request a particular site and uh, you log into that site, you actually have uh, an IP address. So the data that would come from that site is addressed back to you. So all of those packets will come back to you and the router knows that this is a packet that I'm supposed to send to this particular uh, computer that has this IP address. So that's kind of normal. That's everyday user. That's what uh, everyday user uses, but we're not everyday, everyday users. So what you guys can do is you guys can put your wireless card into monitor mode 
in that mode it will sniff each and every packet that goes through its range so if you guys type in air mon dash not equals to dash ng check kill actually you know what let me type in land zero start wait what oh yeah start <laughs> land zero sorry about that and what this is going to do is that it says that these are the what do you say services that are interfering into putting your uh, wireless card into monitor mode so type in clear type in air mod dash ng check kill it will kill all those processes clear this out and you can type in air mod dash ng start lan zero and clear this out now our wireless card is in monitor mode i am not connected to my wi-fi anymore and because my when you are in monitor mode you guys cannot uh, you know access the internet through your uh, wireless card so let's just clear this out now i am going to show you how you can actually list all of the devices that are in your network so so what you guys have to do is type in uh, airmon dash okay sorry air o dump dash n g and the name of your interface if it was lan zero it would have turned to lan o mon which is lan zero monitor mode and hit enter so you guys would see uh, all the access points and all the mac with all the mac addresses and i am getting another text which is very weird because nobody texts me in the whole freaking day so if we maximize this so this is the mac address of my router and i am pretty sure i should hide it but fuck it i'm not gonna so this is koshi what the hell anyways <laughs> uh, so this is the mac address of my freaking uh what do you say access point and uh, these are other mac addresses that you guys can associate uh, some of them are uh, actually the ones that are connected to my what do you say uh, my network so if you type in control c you guys would keep getting these so uh, actually i would uh, show you in the next video tutorial not in this one uh there's there actually very good uh, you know uh, wireless interface that you guys can use so this is going to be fun so you guys can actually get a range of i am so freaking sorry if you're getting that uh, <laughs> freaking salesman noise so i'm just gonna check my sound and adjust my mic a little bit all right i hope you guys can hear me and not him so uh, nope uh, let's just clear this out and what you guys can do is you guys can okay not let's let's not clear this out i need the mac address and uh, copy so air dump actually what it does is that it will uh, basically dump all of the mac addresses or all of the things that are transferring packets through the air so you guys can actually um let me just type the command first and uh, channel what was the channel i don't know my channel seriously sorry seriously uh, okay <laughs> arrow dump dash ng lan home on come on there we go channel 10 wow all right <laughs> arrow dump dash ng dash dash pss id base channel 10 and uh, hit enter wait oh sorry i didn't write the interface and lan oman so what this is going uh what this is doing is that it is concentrating all of the aero dump command into this only one uh you know to only one mac address or to only one access point so let's just clear this out one of the cool things that you guys can do is actually try to get the handshake and in that handshake there is the key which is encrypted by the way so you're gonna basically have to crack it so i'm not gonna show this to you uh, right now let's just clear this out and uh, uh, one thing i'm going to show you is how to get back to your uh, network manager mode so airmon dash ng uh, stop lan oman hit enter clear this out service network manager start hit enter clear this out this should get me a wireless access point and there you go this is connecting to my wi-fi and see this is how you get back uh, back in my day i didn't actually know how to <laughs> connect back to my wi-fi so what i did was i used to reboot my freaking laptop which is very stupid of me you guys shouldn't do that and this is actually a little tip because i don't want you guys to reboot to be rebooting your freaking you know 
uh, laptops whenever you guys hit a trouble, hit a, you know, rock in between your root and that makes no sense. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, hit that like button. And thank you guys for all the love and support. Thank you for not unsubbing. Thank you for not leaving me in comments. I love you guys. And if you guys like this video, hit that like button. If you guys want to see more of us, hit that subscribe button. If you guys have any more questions, leave them in the comments down below. And there is a guy who requested a video on persistence. Don't worry, my friend, this will be coming soon. And I will upload a video following this one uh, later tonight. And when I say tonight, that's through any standard time. <clears throat> so keep an eye out for that. And I will try to get the pace that I had in the very beginning. Thank you guys for all the love and support. I will see you guys in the next video tutorial. See ya.